three, four hundred years ago. Your mindset has not changed. Your consciousness still has not changed. You are still of the same consciousness as your foreparents. And you think that you are not. You think that you have evolved into a higher level. But you're not. Because you're still being called by the name, false name, you see, talking a false language, dressing in false clothes, and worshiping a false god. Because remember, the god that you worship, that's the one he gave you too. So now, how can you build a nation when you are demon-possessed? Brothers and sisters, how can you build a nation when you're possessed by demonic spirits? And remember, the secret weapon is self-hatred. You see? Our people hate themselves and they lash out at themselves or ourselves. There's only so much you can really say, well, you want to try to blame. You can't blame everything on, on where the blame don't go. You can't do that. You can't blame them. 100% because remember we help contribute to make them and as long as we see them as them We're going to be the way we are So we're talking about a shift in the consciousness We have we have to call for an exorcism you see in ja? The nation our people have to be ex an exercise of exercise out this demonic spirit and they don't want to go no, my brothers and sisters, this demonic spirit that's possessing our people, he don't want to go. You see? We have to break out of that matrix and stop hating ourselves because we only lash out at ourselves. We very rarely lash out at the ones who are primarily responsible for certain things. Or the, the ones that is sponsoring your so-called oppression. We have to change the minds. If we want to change the world, we have to change the way we see ourselves. You see? First and foremost, because the way we see ourselves reflect how the world is. We have to stop seeing ourselves the way that we see ourselves. And once we stop seeing ourselves the way that we see ourselves, the world that we see will change. Because the way that you see yourself only reinforces them. You see? I don't want to make it sound complicated or confused, you know what I mean? But basically, as long as you see yourself as a nigger, you're going to be a nigger. And everything that is in place to keep you in nigger status will continue to exist. As long as you now don't see yourself as a nigger, all the things that you see that keeps you in position to be a nigger will steadily start to fall apart once you start to see through the matrix you are not a European never will be and you will never be on a level within them trying to be equal to them you cannot use them as the point of reference for what is great what is good what is positive what is right and we've been doing that you see because we are possessed by their spirit their science you see? Every aspect of your life within this society is dominated by their science, their witchcraft, their spells. You see? Even when, you, like I said, when you speak, when we speak their language, their language is so, it's not evolved on a higher level. When you speak, it's like a jamming frequency. It's not going to bring you into no higher heights. If anything, it's going to put you into captivity. Because how much word have, one word have 10 different meaning? One word maybe got 10, 10 different meanings. Spelling, and different 10 different spellings. And it all sound the same. You see? Trickery. Rastafari. So my brothers and sisters, as I would say, this liberation is on multi-levels, multifaceted. And in order for we to truly be independent 
and to be self-sufficient, which are all of the qualities of a nation. You see? We have to have a drastic revolution and shift in our consciousness and in our perceptions. And like I said, this is all boiling down to demonic possession. Some of them call them the incubus. You see? And the succumbus. You see? But they come now in corpus into flesh. You see? Because remember, man is much more than flesh and blood. He's composed of, of soul and spirit as well. Aye, aye. So now, our people are under the spell of mystery Babylon, possessed by demons.